Welcome to Fine Script Based Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In the previous episodes of this series, we have learned the basics about Pine Script. Now it's time to take it up a little bit further technically. So in this episode, we are going to learn how to get and plot a simple moving average. In the previous episodes, we learned how to plot the price chart in TradingView. Now we can use that as a base to plot the simple moving average. The same process can also be used to apply any indicator. But first, we need to learn how to use the security function in PineScript. So let's start with the scripting. So I'm going to you know, remove the script that we have used in the previous episode. So, and I'm changing the, you know, um, the study name to episode four and I'm removing the existing scripts. So for plotting the SMA, we are going to use a security function, which is a built-in function in PineScript. So let's start with it. So I'm going to type the built-in function name security and we have to pass the stock. So the symbol for which we need the data and the time frame so we need daily time frame data so i'm going to pass it as d and i need the closing price of nifty on a daily basis so i'm giving the value close here so the first value in the security function is the ticker or symbol which we are passing as nifty and then we are setting the time frame to daily and lastly, we told the Pine script we are interested in the closing price of this particular security. So this will give the last daily closing price of Nifty. We can save the return value of this function to a variable. So if you want to save it somewhere, like you can create a variable Nifty price. And you can assign this value to this new variable that you have created. So now nifty price variable will contain the latest daily close price of nifty. So studies created in the pine view need to have at least one output. Otherwise the script will generate a compiler error. So in order to avoid this, let's plot this first. So we need to plot an output that is very, very important. Otherwise you will get an error. So let's plot our variable so that this condition is satisfied. So I'm going to use the plot function and I'm going to plot nifty price. So this basic condition is now done. Now you can click on add to chart. I've given the overlay as true. So this will plot the nifty price on a closing basis in your bank nifty chart remember i have opened the bank nifty chart here and i'm plotting nifty price in this particular chart so this is the beauty of the security function you can plot one securities information or one securities indicator in another chart that's the core concept for this episode so if you see here we have the you know bank nifty chart and we also have the nifty data inside it so that's the beauty but since nifty and bank nifty price are too far away this data is kind of distorted so in this case if you want you can just remove this overlay function and then try to add to chart once again so if you do that this will be plotted as a separate um, chart right so if you see here so you have the nifty data here and you still have the proper bank nifty chart so you can do that as well so that's another thing so now that we can access a stock price let's go through an example of retrieving a simple moving average so what we are going to do now is we are going to plot a simple moving average of nifty in the bank nifty chart so that's what we are going to do so if you don't want to mix these securities if you don't want the nifty data you just want the bank nifty uh, simple moving average then instead of using the security function here you can directly give the value close that will take the closing price and it will assign it to this particular variable you don't have to go through the security function uh, if you don't want some other stock data here so if you want to plot the stock data of bank nifty itself then you can just remove rest of the item so you can remove this particular section of the code and you can just pass the value close you have to remove this bracket as well so since we are mixing two different securities that is bank nifty and nifty here so i'm going to stay with 
this particular set of code itself. So in PineScript, simple moving average calculation is very simple. They have a built-in function for SMA, which they call it as SMA. So we are going to use that SMA function and we are going to get the SMA value for Nifty. So I'm get, creating another new variable here and I'm getting the value of SMA using the built-in function and I'm going to do that using the nifty price that I have fetched manually and assigned it to a nifty price variable. So I'm passing the nifty price variable here and we need to pass this time period for uh, this moving average as well. So I'm going to pass it as 20. So I'm going to take the nifty price and I'm going to use the built-in SMA function and I'm going to calculate the 20 period simple moving average and I'm going to assign it to nifty SMA variable. So that's what we are doing in this particular line of script. So now I'm going to delete this particular uh, chart and I'm again going to, you know, remove this overlay and I'm going to add to chart. So if I do that, now the simple moving average of Nifty will be plotted in your bank Nifty chart, as simple as that. Now, if you want different variants or modifications to this SMA by adding multipliers, then you can do that very easily as well. So let's do it. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to plot the simple moving average of Nifty multiplied by two in the bank Nifty chart. So I'm going to remove this particular line of script and I'm going to plot two in to SMA in this bank nifty chart. So, you know, 2x of simple moving average, I'm going to plot it in the chart. So, if you uh, give add to chart button, simple moving average of nifty multiplied by 2 will be plotted. So, if you want, um, you know, 2.3x, you can uh, mention that as well and you can give a add to chart once again. So, if you do that, it, it is almost like a channel. So, you can, you know, play around this to get a better understanding. So, you can plot, uh, you know, any multipliers of the moving average as well with just simple one-liner code. So, now going back to the thing I have mentioned earlier, we don't have to go through a lot of trouble to plot SMA if you want to plot the SMA for the same stock you are viewing in the chart. You can simply do this with a two-liner code. So let's write a, another simple code here. So we are going to plot a simple moving average. We are going to call this as a short SMA. So I'm using the built-in SMA function and I'm using the closing price. So I'm mentioning the close directly here instead of going through the security function because if you mention like this, it will take the closing price of the chart that we have opened here. So I'm going to take this uh, 10 simple moving average and I'm going to plot it. Short SMA. Likewise, I'm going to create another SMA. So I'm going to call this as long SMA. So, okay, spelling is wrong. So correcting that. So instead of a uh, 10 here for long SME, I'm using the value 30 and I'm going to remove this unnecessary plot function and now I'm clicking add to chart. So if you look at here, two simple moving average, that is 10 simple moving average and 30 simple moving average are now plotted in the chart. So this is how you need to create scripts for plotting simple moving average in the pine script but um, you know remember that we have something called security function which we can use to plot some other stock info into your existing chart of any other script so that's the beauty that uh, we can do with the pine script so with this we have come to the end of this episode and also we have come to end of the studies from next episode we will start seeing the strategies so be ready if you have any queries, comments or feedback about this episode or this series in general, please leave it down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer and address it. Your feedback is very, very important for us. So please do leave both the positive and negative comments that you have about this episode. And if you have any other queries on any other strategies or any other series that is running in parallel, 
please share it with us. We'll be happy to answer those as well. If you've liked this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.